All right, this is Isaiah Murray with another WWE replica belt review. As you guys can see, this is a United States replica, the new logo bag. I got rid of that Intercontinental commemorative belt that I just reviewed. Um, as soon as I gave it any type of flex, the rivet started popping off. So, went ahead and sent that one back. So, if you guys are going to get a commemorative belt, just know those rivets pop off fairly easily. And the rivets are what actually hold the plates onto the actual simulated leather strap. So, I just got this one today. And I ordered it Monday and got it today which is Wednesday so that was a really really quick turnaround on WWE shops part so I commend them for that alright looks like they got it in some plastic here I'm gonna try to do this with one hand you're gonna have to bear with me Let's see if I can get this out All right, got one side of it out. Let's try to get this one out. Okay. And so, there we have it. You guys can kind of see the back of it here. Let me just pull that out. And that white is a plastic insert. Not to be confused with that, it's on a white strap. Now we'll get this out. And just the standard cloth bag with the insert to protect the main plates. Okay, let me get this thing turned around. And there you have it. The 2014 WWE United States Championship replica. I got it in some plastic. Okay. There she goes. Okay, and here it is, guys. This is my second United States belt. I had it when it first came out, and now I have this one. I'm pleased to say this one is a little bit better quality than the last one I had. You can see they got the male snap box, which is a 2x8. And then you see they got some pretty decent filigree work here on the strap, some stamping. It has the new WWE logo and it says WWE Champion. We have our Statue of Liberty side plate. We have our Eagle and WWE side plate. We have our center plate. And just for comparison, I'm six foot two, pretty large hands, and this belt takes up my entire hand. So the center plate did grow a little bit over the years, which is a good thing. We have the other Eagle and WWE side plate, and we have the Statue of Liberty side plate. WWE stamped all across. We have some plastic to take off of the females. And that is a 2x5 female snap plate. And you can see that filigree work there. It's not bad. It's not bad. And this end actually has the um, simulated pebble grain leather here. And it looks like my snaps already have some scratches on them, which is unfortunate. Um... This is the current belt that's being used on television, except theirs is, you know, of course, higher grade. And it probably has real gold on it. <laughs> Rusev is actually carrying that belt now. Let me turn this thing over. And so there you have the back snap box for the um, 2x5 female. And then you can see the screws themselves. And then you have that WWE official authentic Stamp replica championship title shop WB got to of course plug the shop um, And like I said the back is done on that simulated pebble grain leather and then this is the reverse side of the male 2x8 snap box planning on installing a Gold tip on this belt Just to add a little bit of flair to it and getting this nameplate engraved and again this nameplate is removable um, this belt weighs about five pounds. I want to say 4.4, 4, four pounds, four ounces, something like that. Um, measures 44 inches long from what the website says. And you can see World Wrestling Entertainment and then United States Champion. And this belt does have quite a bit of flex to it. You can see 
the thing is just folding right up for me so the belt's a little bit floppier than what they normally they normally are so I'm gonna play with it give you guys an update on how I like it but there you go 2014 WWE United States Championship replica belt all right hope you guys enjoyed the vid signing out